सो हाई एवरी वन इट्स मी योर मनु इशू वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मनु इशू एपीसी क्लासेस सो इन टू दी वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन ऑफ लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम कंसोलिडेशन चैप्टर फ्रॉम ऑफ एफ थ्री तो द क्वेश्चन इज द फॉलोइंग फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट रिलेटिंग टू द ब्लैक एंड लिमिटेड लेवलिटी कंपनी एंड सब्सिडरी कंपनी बरी स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस फॉर द ईयर इन दर्टी फर्स्ट डिसम्बर गिवेन एंड and financial position is also given so in additional information it has been written black purchase is dollar 1 ordinary share uh, in bari on 1st november 2080 and at that date the balance on the buy bari written earning was 2 million and the fair value of non controlling interest at that date of acquisition was 11 uh, 800 and goodwill on acquisition was 800 people zero that is 800000 During the year in the 31st of October 2005, Black sold goods which originally cost 12 million to Bari, and Black invoiced Bari at a cost plus 40 percent. Bari still had 30 percent in of the secrets in inventory at 31st of October 2005. Bari or Black uh, 1.5 million at 31st of October 2005 for some of the goods Black supplied during the year. Okay, so by reading a question, it has been. Clearly indicated that the Black is a parent company and Bari is subsidiary. So Black acquired Bari on 1st November 2000. It's given the question in the additional information section on 1st November uh, 2000 and year in the 31st October 2005. Okay, <laughs> so time of acquisition is uh, more than one year. We can say so we do, we uh, don't have any problem of mid-year acquisition, right? And uh, let's talk about the TPC, which is the total purchase consideration. It means how much parent pay to acquire the subsidiary. So it has also uh, it has not given in the additional information, but in financial position of parent, you can just go in the assets section. There is a heading investment where it has been clearly written that 21 million dollar one order shares in Bari at a cost. 21000 to 21000 is a tpc so now if in case you need to find out the parent percentage then what you have to do is just have a look on the formula where what calculation i am doing so that you can easily figure out so just i have taken the number of share uh, acquired by parent in subsidiary which is 21000 and divide it by total number of ordinary shares of subsidiary okay So, uh, from where do you get total number of share of subsidiary? It has been on the subsidiary financial position in equity section. There is ordinary shares of dollar one. Dollar one is normally value, and thirty thousand is the amount given. So, it means thirty thousand is the number of shares. A uh, three zero I have taken common. So, you can get the percentage. If seventy percent have been acquired by the parent, what is the uh, percentage acquired by NCI? It is thirty. Percentage. Okay, so now let's uh, move. Okay, after that, uh, uh, just uh, rub this. We don't require. We will just uh, do calculation as per the requirement of the question. Uh, okay, what is the amount paid by Black to acquire the shares? Okay, it means how much money has been paid by Black. Who is the Black? Black is the parent to acquire the. Share in the subsidiary. It has clearly given the question twenty one thousand. Uh, we have just uh, seen where where we can get this information, right? So, tax two. The dividend due to the black from Bari will be okay. So, any kind of intra transaction, whether it's the dividend or interest paid or any kind of purchase or sales between the parent and subsidiary, it should be eliminated while preparing the consolidated financial statement. So it will be eliminated. So we can il, uh, easily figure out the option given. Okay. So included in the consolidated profit for the year? No. Added to the total of non-controlling interest? No. Included in the consolidated current liability? Aha. Uh -huh. Eliminated on control. Included. Sorry. Eliminated on consolidation? Yes. We need to eliminate all kind of intra transaction between parent and subsidiary. So dividend payable by Black will be. Okay, here in this question, it has just simply told dividend payable Black to whom the third party. So third party deducted from the consolidated profit for the year. No, 
it is table uh, a question is telling table it means liability of a subsidiary so deducted from the consolidated current asset no we want deducted from the current asset included in the consolidated current liability obviously it will be shown as a current liability that's why option c is our correct correct answer okay so task 3 what is the amount of unrealized profit on the intra group sales okay so in additional information in second point it has been told that black sold goods to sub, uh, subsidiary that is a bari it means uh, black is selling goods to subsidiary we will calculate the pop and we will deduct this pop from the working price while we calculate group return uh, earning yes uh, if the subsidiary is selling to parent in that case we will deduct it from the working two so uh let's calculate pop okay so just have a look on the formula bar you will just uh, uh, it will be clearly shown what calculation i am doing so uh, first of all i will take the uh, what is what uh, let's see out the first sentence during the year in the 31st october 2005 black sold goods which originally cost 12 million to bury it means uh, Originally cost twelve million to bury. Uh, if the selling price of parent will be the uh, or selling price of the seller will be the uh, cost to the buyer, right? Here is the same case. So whatever the price the bury will uh, parent will sell to subsidiary, uh, the uh, sub that will be the cost of the subsidiary. So here the cost of subsidiary means selling price of parent. It means parent has sold goods to uh, subsidiary in twelve uh, million. Okay, and black invoice bury at a cost plus forty percent. Here, cost plus forty percent means the cost which is uh, given in the question, which is the selling price, and plus forty percent means forty percent is margin. So don't get confused with the markup. As the question is told, cost here cost means cost to bury. Bury is buyer. Okay, so twelve uh, million is selling price of the um, seller. So forty percent is a margin. So we will multiply it with forty. Percentage and body still has thirty percent of these goods at inventory at end. So thirty percent we will multiply if all goods have been sold by the uh, subsidiary, then we don't have to calculate the pop. So one point four million. So I will just multiply one two three one two three. So fourteen forty is your answer. Okay. Okay, so what what is the next comment? Okay, how sh how so how this is posted? Okay, so as I told, a uh, parent is selling the subsidy. In that case, we will deduct it from the working file, which is group return earning. So we will debit return earning in order to deduct it, right? And we need to deduct it from the inventory as well. So we will credit the inventory. Okay. So bury or black 1.5 million for the good supply. How this will be accounted for the consolidated financial statement? Okay. So bury or black 1.5 million for the good supply, and this will uh, how this will be accounted for the consolidated financial statement? So whatever kind of the intra-group transaction between the parent and subsidiary need to be eliminated. So we will eliminate the payable and receivable uh, that is shown in the both company. If uh, uh, payable is shown in one company, the uh, receivable will be shown in the other company in case of intra-group transaction. So we will simply what uh, what uh, uh, suppose we need to deduct the payable, so we will debit payable and we will credit receivable to decrease. So it is quite easy. So tax five. Then controlling interest will be applied in the both consolidated statement of financial portion. Sorry, statement of profit or loss and the consolidated statement of financial portion. Amount of non-controlling interest in the SPL is. And the fill the plans to calculate amount of non-controlling interest in the consolidated SOP. Okay, so first we will uh, find out the what is the amount we will show in the consolidated in the financial position. So that is a working four. And for that we need to calculate a working two because we need a par value. So net asset of sub at share value at acquisition at uh, Reporting date. So we will first take a share capital, which is given the question. 
share capital at the reporting date is given the question is 30000 and advocate acquisition is also 30000 we will do keep the same amount now next is return earning which is the active positive rate it is given the question 10,280 so for the uh, acquisition rate it has not given the question so in that case we will simply take the return earning at acquisition and deduct the profit for the year of the subsidy which is given the question is 15,000 Okay, so total this this and difference is par. Okay, so now let's calculate working for directly because goodwill already having calculated in the question. working for so NCI at acquisition at fair value given the question 1 1800 I will take 3 0 as a common and NCI percentage of fair uh, part post acquisition reserve and say percentage is 30% and I will multiply with this 15,000 so 4500 so total amount is this plus this so what the question is telling? Yeah, fair value equation will be 11,800. I have taken the three zero. You need to put the uh, full figure. Okay, let's put the full figure. One, two, three. I did some mistakes today, okay? A. What I did a mistake is it would be uh, I just forgot it has been long time having acquired by talent and subsidy. So it has already given the question two million. So two thousand. Okay. So let's take out three zero common. Okay. So now this is the NCI amount which will be so which will be so in the consolidated equipment okay so uh, what amount of non controlling interest in the consolidated SPL okay uh, for the profit attributable to NCI in case of profit or loss so we will simply take PNL NCI percentage into the profit of the subsidiary which is 15,000 given in the question so 450,000 in case subsidiary is selling to the parent in that case we will deduct the pop amount from the subsidiary profit for the year then we will take NCI percentage 
ओके बट हेयर पेरेंट इज सेलिंग टू सक्सेस वाई वी डोंट हैव डिडक्टेड फॉर फ्रॉम द प्रॉफिट इन ऑर्डर टू कैलकुलेट व्हाट अमाउंट ऑफ एनसीआई रिस्पोन इन द प्रॉफिट और लॉस ओके सो दिस मच फॉर दिस वीडियो इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल कंटिन्यू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके so thank you guys for watching my video so if you are watching my video for the first time please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more updates so thank you guys for watching my video